Hello everybody, my name is AJ. Welcome to Ways to Human. I'm really excited for today's video. I recently learned about street epistemology. Usually this is performed in the street, but I figured why not try it with family? My husband Joe and his cousin Damien agreed to be my very first guests. In this specific interview, I'm going to use both epistemology and the Socratic method. Socrates was sentenced to death at age 71 in the year 399 BC for allegedly corrupting the youth. Socrates taught the youth to question authority, question assumptions, to challenge the state of affairs, and to question beliefs. He basically was teaching the youth to have an open mind and use critical thinking. One of his most famous quotes was, Awareness of our own ignorance makes us wiser. Say that, say that one more. Say that one more time. That was our awareness that's very of our deep. Own ignorance makes us wiser. Because you're realizing that you don't know everything. So that my favorite part of the whole conversation was Joe and Damien's reaction while discussing criminal behavior. Watch until the end to get a glimpse into this amazing aha moment, courtesy of critical thinking and reasoning. This is why I enjoy this so much. Even when people disagree, having respectful conversations helps us use rational thinking and come to these epiphanies together. I want to thank both Damien and Joey for allowing me to be a part of this experience of growth and getting a glimpse of their reasoning process. Thank you for being such wonderful and open-minded guests. All right, let's get right into it, guys. Today I am with Joe and Damien. Alright, so the basic idea, you pick the topic and then you ask the person questions and the person will give you honest answers. You don't have to know, it's not about knowledge or anything like that, it's just like how you feel about the question that I'm asking basically. Oh, so we could ask the same question. Both yeah, the topic that I chose is, do you think that truth is relative? Is it subject to somebody's opinion or is it objective? Is there one truth? I'd say it's subjective. I mean, most people can make themselves think it's subjective to their own opinion and they can believe that's truth to themselves but in reality it's based on facts <laughs> for something to be true well, how, yeah. how you, define truth? Yeah. you have to be able to yeah to have have proof or a fact that shows you know that that truth is there do you have a definition for truth? That's I'm, than that. I'm gonna copy him. Oh, yeah. so you're <laughs> There's a big difference between truth and an opinion. But an opinion can be based off truth, though. Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can. Point. Okay. Yeah. Or I, I, I kind of meant like there's a truth. There's a difference between truth and then beliefs. Okay. Yeah, like right. would you say that if somebody said, "Oh, this is my truth," like would that be accurate? Technically, it is accurate because it's their truth. Is it true for the whole population? No. Well, that's what I said. Sometimes people believe truth only in their to themselves yeah. to like what they know in their, yeah. in their life that other people don't see. Yeah. In their head, I guess I don't know. Yeah, basically. That's kind of crazy though. Yeah. What is the reason that you would think that that that's the reason why you think that it's okay for somebody to have their own truth? Hmm. I don't think. I mean. I think it probably helps people just deal with life. Sometimes they'll make up a truth that's not really truth to make their life, to make them be able to function. So basically you're saying that, that their truth is still valid? To them. Okay. Yeah. Would you say that a feeling can become a truth? For somebody specifically, yeah. Yeah. But only in their mind. Not, exactly. Not in the factual world. In their reality, in their head. So there will be two subsequent realities, you're saying? Yeah. yeah seems... I completely agree yeah. with that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy to so think that, but, but that's what... that We have a definition for square, right? Equal on all sides, right? Yeah. So if you have a square, then that's like the definition, right? That, that everybody agrees square, yeah, on. everybody agrees that, yeah. Let's say that you both have that definition and I say that, that this is a circle, would that be Well again, a truth that someone believes that's not really like factual in their mind can actually become factual because who who said that 
a square is a square who says that the sun is called the sun exactly i mean <laughs> exactly so someone yeah. someone created that in their head and then it actually became factuality yeah. that, that square is a square but what if it, we have ways to define reality but not everybody has a different description of it correct we have, i'll try to make one should everybody be allowed to define their own reality like define their own definition of square that would just like be chaos. Like if I wanted to define a square as, as a circle rather than a square. Yeah. Well, it would just be confusion and chaos. I yeah. mean, in reality, you could do that, but you set rules and, and things like that to make things easier. Basically, everyone yeah. said, oh, this square. Let's call this this so for drawing. Now, we will call this a square. Yeah. Like, like you said, it makes it easier for, for everybody to have a sense of what, yeah. what is true or what is not. But my saying that it's a circle have an effect on everybody else's no because if you if you no. if you relate that shape to a, the shape of a square to the the name circle in your mind it's correct there has to be a system saying yeah, but place. if you tell and somebody then, in, in so actual reality why. that they're going to look at you like you're crazy because they don't right. know that you see that object as that name basically exactly but that goes back to what we were saying that everybody can have their own reality everybody perceives reality differently even though we mm -hmm. do have these set specifics in reality exactly like, because like i want to make a point not to get too political here but like if, say you were from the high class you made a lot of money you came out of a real rich neighborhood and you didn't see all the struggles from the lower class the middle class you're gonna be born and you're gonna be like oh life is good what are these your struggles right the, the, what, what struggles are you gonna have because they're not aware of that yeah. they never experienced yeah. it so in their but mind that doesn't exist because they've never seen it in reality exactly and in their mind that's the truth mm -hmm. which sucks that's how people yeah. are but that could, yeah that that would go with anything like any anything in real reality someone could see it different if they've never experienced that yeah. or seen. Maybe not to get yeah either, but let's say that uh somebody's using their version of the truth to cause the that are affecting other people, not just themselves, not just their own view. Is there a way that we could determine whether that person's truth should be valid? We change laws if we realize that we wrote a law that was incorrect, you know, something that we thought was right, but was not right now. So, I mean, we change the way that, that society lives in this reality because we... Sorry guys, we had some problems with the camera. So but for humans, it would be society's laws basically or would determine loss what we deem you know bad or good it's a, it's a hard way to decide who has that power whoever writes those laws or puts the votes those into action i mean it's it's a powerful thing because i would say as long as you don't have something proven there can never be a a truth basically if you don't know the final answer but a good thing about science science has helped people learn People are growing, people are becoming smarter as a society because science has proven a lot of things and that shows people, oh, this is that, this is this. Yeah. And when the people get to that point, they change as a whole. But when you don't know the answer, then that's where people have different beliefs because there's people in third world countries that still believe in cannibalism. They eat humans because of their God. That's why you have Christianity, Muslims, um, Buddhism, you got different religions because at the end, you don't have the final answer. So are all the laws that we that we actually have right now in societies are are they all based on truth in reality and, I, and our, you know factuality? I think they're both okay. because you have like laws like the one from Florida with all the transgender and those rights and is that a truth? That law is should that be a truth? I would say no. On the other hand, you have another law like if you murder, you go to prison. So yeah. you're, you're saying that currently the laws, uh, for example, the ones for transgender are not based on evidence, rather on opinions? Exactly. Right? Okay. But and are you like, talking about anti-transgender like transgender laws? Like, are you yeah. talking about... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, they're making that law because of opinions. Correct. Right. It's not a truth. And then you have other laws, say you murder somebody. <laughs> You go to prison. Yeah, so there's you both. Know, you know you there's murder, you're, you're taking a life. I mean, that's a proven fact. But right? that that just shows you that a law is not a truth. It's basically, it's a mix. So we could give another example. That's what I think right here. So what do you see here? A couple marbles. <laughs> so you see marbles. 
Yeah. Yeah, a couple of marbles. I used to play a marble game when I was a kid. But yeah, so like marbles, a miniature, right? miniature coffee cup. If you had to guess, is it even or a number of marbles? I would say even. Personally, I would say who created even, who created odd, because there was one person that created that. <laughs> so take but based on society That's beliefs, fun. we say sets of twos are even. Exactly. And so but I would say if I had to guess for myself, I would say odd. Okay. Can they both yeah. simultaneously be even and odd? Based on not having <laughs> that information, then yeah. Like in my reality, if I didn't know how many marbles were in there and somebody asked me yeah. that, I would say, yeah, it could be okay. either. But in yeah. reality, no, because in the reality knows how many are in there. Because there's yeah. two realities. Yeah. Or it might not even be two realities. Maybe there's a hundred realities yeah. for everybody. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. To me, I, I said odd. I, all right, let's count. Personally, I'm a good guesser, guys, so I think I'm right. Let me count it because I don't want to freak you. You don't want me to cheat? Yeah, I don't want you to cheat. Come right. on. Yeah. Use the scientific method where you both count them to with yeah. Alright, let him count. One, two, three. Oh, 16. 16. 17. Oh, <laughs> let's go. No, no, oh, no. Let's go. I let's think go. that was a miscount. Let's, let's go. I'm going to challenge Let's go. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> You're cheating already. <laughs> cheating. So go ahead. Person, the same to determine yeah. Yeah. And like I said, with that point I made, everybody needs to know everything. They need to be aware. Of, like for someone that lives in a rich neighborhood, needs to know what a person that lives in a poor neighborhood does. You know, they yeah. need to be aware. They need to. They need to know all. Would you say that the scientific method is? Um, accurate way of determining what is the actual item of a square yeah because you like you say it has to have all the same dimensions on each side all four sides but then if you think about the name of the square in theory though scientifically yes all sides are even yeah. so yes that would be a, so we, a square we have like more than one person confirm that you know the laws of physics the laws of nature to make them understandable I'll say this in front of everybody. If science had to find an answer, I'd be like, okay, everybody stop believing in religions. Just go that way. It's all science from here on out. But since it hasn't found that final answer. They'll never have all I mean, science will just continue because, exactly. I mean, exactly. the universe continues to evolve as well. The exactly. earth continues to evolve. So science always, like certain things of science will always be changing too. Does science, yeah. does that mean that? There's never a final answer. Yeah. But whenever it does discover something new, then society changes. So there, there be like eras in regards to time, you know. Evolution. Did, did <laughs> counting them and realizing that it was an odd number change your belief that it was even? I still have the same feeling towards it, so no. Yeah. Does that make it true? No. So despite you can't fudge. This is so confusing, but yeah, go. But would like, you... Like, being that you know that you had the correct amount of marbles, like, guessed, <laughs> does it make you feel, like, more confident about looking at the cup now, though? Yeah, but who... At the end of the day, you go back to the same question. Who considered that as odd or even? According to my, like, where I'm at, I would change. I change certain things about what I believe. Like, are you able to change your opinion and say, admit that you were wrong, or would you rather oh. compromise your, your honesty? Mm -hmm. No, but it's not a, maybe I came off incorrect, because no, the feeling isn't that I'm like, angry that I didn't have it right. When I seen that object, like, I didn't want it, to me, I didn't really care what was inside it. Man, you just said something real deep. Are you saying basically, you know there's a final answer, but you never want to know that final answer? Maybe there's some things you don't want to know the answer to, maybe. I don't know. Okay, that's real yeah. deep right there. Because it's just like scarier, like even if you do Dang. know that answer. <laughs> oh man, you're going to make me, making me <laughs> sad, man. Because like, let's say, let's say, let's say science proves there's no religions, right? Or there's, it proves that there's no higher power. Right. Then you're gonna, 
you realize <laughs> you realize you've been believing that, something your whole life and then like, and then you get proved that it was incorrect and you and you're going to be proven that that there's nothing to look for after that but is that what you're scared of but finding out? But can't you out? believe be so strong that you still believe in something? Even despite this, despite it doesn't exist, it didn't exist. Despite the power uh, or being proven. I don't know. <laughs> I'm th- I'm thinking more it's of crazy. like in your mind. Like we all right, we've already like talked about earlier how you have two separate realities: reality in your mind and the reality in the in, in the real world reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you have the reality in your mind, wouldn't that still affect? The choices that you make based on that, that the set belief that you know now is not correct. Well, I'm not saying specifically for myself. I'm I'm saying that like other people are like that. They've when you do something for so many times, like repetitive, or that's all you know, it's engraved in your in your mind and like what you were, like what what you created your your reality to be. You know, believing in something specific. So even if somebody tells you that what you've been believing all these years is like proven that it's not right you know that it's not true some people are still going to believe that it's kind of like gaslighting you tell somebody something so many times repetitive over and over and over and bombard their mind and they're going to start believing that so there's people that live in their own realities that are like really skewed from like in this portion of the conversation we began talking about jeffrey Dahmer, whose belief or personal reality allowed him to make the choice to take people's lives Unfortunately, the audio got cut off for about 15 minutes. We discussed how to determine what constitutes harm, how we can investigate the cause of somebody's behavior, and whether these kinds of people's skewed version of reality should be allowed to have weight on making decisions that affect society as a whole. Okay, so you're saying that you could have... AJ just said that she could have answered our questions with facts, right? But this whole time, we had a different <laughs> reality. But in reality, she had the best at reality because she knew. She already our, knew. She already, she already knew, knew the reality. We didn't. We didn't know the future. We didn't know the future. She knew the future. Because she already knew what she was going to direct this. Basically. Yeah, she had the knowledge. True. So there's there's two types of people in this world: uh, or the knows and the, and the don't knows. <laughs> but you knew more than us, though, because you already had the facts. Well, no, these are right? all questions. These are all. But for certain questions that we had, basically. But how are we wrong though? Because what we we said was our own our own opinion, our right? own reality. Yeah. Exactly. How we... So you were playing God in our lives for that, for those twenty minutes. <laughs> that is true, right? She was our God. Well, I guess I could have been well, not really, but she didn't. Yeah, I mean, really, she wasn't playing God because she didn't alter how I viewed that. Because right. if she was God, she would have told me something like how I how I should view things in reality. Yeah, should we just allow every single individual to live their own reality? We should move towards as we prove things are, are like reality, we should follow those things. It's, but if it's things that we can't prove, if it's things we can't prove or we don't have a scientific theory, you know, evidence on it, then it's still opinion. Exactly. It should be conceptual laws and, and society should follow that. But again, like we discussed with the cup, things that we don't know the actual facts on, if we didn't know how many marbles were in that cup, we're both going to have a different opinion on how many we think's on there. And both those opinions should be respected until we actually know. Unless it's a crazy, crazy, like, opinion. like Harmless and harm is two different things to a different person with that reality that murders. Do you think that the current methods that we are using, for example, like you say, blood work or imaging, can we continue to use that method? Yes, but the, my thing is like, okay, you just science proves that this guy murdered somebody, that's bad, right? But why is that guy like that in the first place? Because everything that created him through yeah. his environment and his interactions yeah. with... So should his, we, in his life should we should we ever punish him then because he was faced with do that you, reality yeah do you think that that realizing somebody's humanity should we maybe punish them and help them at the same time hey you're giving good questions yeah, right now yeah. because i mean it, it depends on the severity of the crime was it like premeditated but hold on though why is he like that in the Will it change your mind if the premeditation was there to say that it was there? But for whatever reason, the person has to go to the hospital before they go to jail and they do imaging and they realize that he has a tumor. 
Yeah. And the, it's yeah. in the spot of the brain that will cause them to act in that way. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Back to normal. Would that change your premeditation uh, assessment? That Is it proven yeah. though that, that the mind can be changed that much where it would change the behavior? They took the tumor out. And, and they went back to normal. So you, can, yeah. you can kind of see. And A person can, can be charged for murder, you know, they could be drunk and like run somebody over and kill them and yeah. you're charged with murder. Exactly. So that wasn't like he wasn't actually like trying to kill somebody. He knew in his mind when he drove he could possibly kill somebody, but he probably wasn't thinking about that. See, there so should I mean, be punishment for certain things. I'm know? with you on the, the same thing, but the opposite view. That should we be allowed to take someone's life because they took someone's life? Like we're we're locking mm. them up because we say they they killed they took someone's life. Yeah. But in their reality, something caused them to be like that. Well, true, so, true. So, so why should we kill them though? Right, That's so what I'm saying. Do but, you think that maybe the more humane thing to do would be to try to investigate what what caused them to to commit the murder? See, I don't agree with that. We'll still keep them locked up, but use them to you know to to diagnose, yeah, to research, to try to. That's good. So you're doing both. Yeah. So that's the answer. Do both. Study them. I mean, <laughs> Yo, let's, let's, okay. Let's use that was it. good. I mean, Come on. Again. <laughs> that was good. Good job, guys. Yeah, that was we good. figured it out. We figured it out. There's not society. There's not one answer. There's we're gonna advance so fast after <laughs> this. <laughs> that's what I like about this system because it gets you asking questions to yourself yeah. and considering things that you hadn't considered before. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. So in reality, I could have said, I could have said, okay, there's two beliefs. I believe in God, right? The opposite is that I don't believe in God. Maybe the answer is neither. Maybe the answer is there's two gods. We have. And there's you, you know, gotta respect both those views. Exactly, because this is getting really deep, guys. Yeah. We right. have answered a lot of questions. Samuel needs a snack break, guys. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any uh, closing thoughts about the truth discussion? Well, just keep in mind that even though in your own reality that you may think it doesn't affect everyone's reality that's here, be be mindful and thoughtful. At this point, we made a lot of points. There's a lot of realities. I kind of want to say something else. If you don't eat jalapenos, <laughs> don't expect hair on your chest. So basically, according to science, Nobody's wrong. We should just focus on the future for, yes, we could keep on blaming our past, but if we keep on saving more lives, then eventually, through evolution, those bad people are going to fade away. So that's what matters, the future, not the past. So maybe we shouldn't ask, who created the world? Maybe we should ask, are we making a better world for the future generations? So technically, we're gods for the future generations. That's but then true. we have our gods and... You know? True. I like that. Yeah. I think one question we can all ask ourselves is, do we really know what we think we know? All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. Watch out for those false realities. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so that my videos will be shared with more people.